Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about fats and oils. A lot of patients ask me what fats should I be eating and what fats are not good for me to eat. And when it comes to cooking, what oil should I be using to cook and what oils are not good for me to cook with. So we're going to go over these fat facts and myths today. And I hope you guys really learn a lot today. Number one, polyunsaturated fat, fatty acids or PUFAs. These fats are in everything. They're the canola oils, the vegetable oils, the soybean oils, the corn oils. These are normally highly processed oils where they're great in the foods that they're found in. You know, vegetable oil is good in vegetables, but when they are extracted and chemically extracted and they're so processed, they're very, very unstable. So they become rancid. Normally before you even consume them, they're rancid. So they cause inflammation in the body. So you have to be very careful about the ingredients in your food because they're really cheap. So they're used in a lot of foods. But these polyunsaturated fatty acids, they're in vegetable oils. They're, they are also... Um, in fish oil so you want to be careful you're buying the right fish oil go to drwillcole.com send me a message and I'll give you some recommendations as far as some great quality fish oils when buying oils another term you want to look for is something called high oleic this term is is used for normally polyunsaturated fats that they've actually molecularly changed into more monounsaturated fat so it makes a polyunsaturated fat more stable by converting them to monounsaturated fats. So read high leg, it can normally stand a little bit higher cooking temperature, so it'll be less of, of uh, it'll be less oxidized and healthier for you to consume. Fat number two, monounsaturated fatty acid. These are normally found in nuts and seeds and in olive oil. They're a little bit more stable than the polyunsaturated fats. They are um, they can normally tolerate a little bit more heat. And this is the second type of fat. It's a little bit healthier. It, they, are, they are healthier than the polyunsaturated fats. And get them, again, in nuts and seeds and in olive oil. When buying oils, you want to look at the smoking point of the oil. You want to make sure that the oil can withstand the temperature that you're cooking, it, what you're cooking at. So be sure to read the labels. Most oils look show you the labels now if it's for low heat, medium heat, or high heat. Read those because a good oil can be turned into a bad oil when you're cooking it at a temperature that's too high for the molecular structure to handle. When you're looking for oils to cook with, you want to look for naturally refined when you're buying some of the, the oils that have, especially that oils like olive oil, the naturally refined olive oils, they, what they do is during the refining process, they take out the sensitive and delicate particulates, the polyphenols, the antioxidants out that are normally very unstable and sensitive to heat. They take those out so it makes an oil that is otherwise more unstable to cook with a little bit more stable so you can cook it at higher smoke at higher temperatures so you want to look and actually refine it's going to take a lot of the nutrients out for nutrition purposes but for cooking purposes the naturally refined is a better option as far as the oil not becoming oxidized and not becoming an inflammatory source for your body number three is the saturated fats a lot of patients think that saturated fats are bad, but it's actually the opposite. Saturated fats are the healthiest types of fat. So let's go over this big myth. Saturated fat does not cause heart disease. Um, this is a, a, that sort of thinking is archaic. It's, it's antiquated. It's not what the literature shows now. It's been debunked time and time again that saturated fat does not cause heart disease, that does not cause cancer. It's inflammation that causes heart disease. It's inflammation that causes cancer. We need saturated fat. Every cell in our body is made up of saturated fat. Our brain is. We need these things for hormone production, for brain function, for actually decreasing chronic disease like heart disease and diabetes. So saturated fats are found in meats and in dairies and in coconut oil as a plant source. So we want to get good sources of these because that's true. If you have factory farmed meat or you have regular dairy that you buy in a supermarket, those are not good. They will cause inflammation in the body. But it, the way that it was intended, grass-fed meat, organic meat, uh, organic dairy, extra virgin coconut oil, these foods have been shown to decrease heart disease, to decrease diabetes, so we need to consume these foods. And saturated fats are a lot more stable than the polyunsaturated fatty fats and the monounsaturated fats as well. So they're a lot more, uh, the, more stable to cook with as well.
a lot of patients ask me, you know, is butter good for you? Yes, organic butter, the way that God intended it, it's good for you. Butter is good for you. Uh, it has conjugated linoleic acid. It has uh, arachidonic acid. These, these compounds have been shown to decrease heart disease, to aid in fat burning. So this is a main myth that, that butter and a lot of other saturated fats they actually help with fat burning. They're not going to make you fat. It's the inability to process fat. It's the bad fats that will make you fat. It's not these good, clean, saturated fats. They actually will aid in fat burning. To learn more about fats, to learn more about cooking oils, check out drwillcole.com. Check out the YouTube link there and you, we'll be posting more videos about oils and about good fats and bad fats so you can stay the healthiest you can be and really um, just be the most aware and educated about the foods that you eat.